of street circuits. A lot of the time it's, it's easy to sort of panic when you lock up and like you stay on the brake or you get on it harder. You gotta try and tell yourself to get off it. What lap time am I trying to beat? <laughs> the first laps I've done in the track. I now know probably more than most other people, maybe everyone in the field, so it's going to give me a little advantage. It's a street circuit, there's some actually crazy corners, maybe the craziest I think that's going to be in Formula One with the up the hill left and then straight into a blind right-hander. I think there's a few people that are going to ride off some chassis on, uh, on Baku weekend. Hopefully not me though. I can't think of anything like Baku that's currently on the calendar. It's tough because the, there's a lot of third gear corners it seems, so you'd, you'd want a bit of downforce for those, but then you've got a two and a half or something kilometre straight or you know, over 20 seconds of full throttle. It's going to be easy to hit a wall, that's for sure. It's very high speed. The challenge is huge, and especially a race trim, getting a slipstream through those last kinks is that probably won't be flat. For the corners, it looks like you want to have maximum downforce but I don't think you can afford to run it with a straight like that so I think it's probably going to be sacrificing some grip in the corners to keep up on the straight. That's going to be um, take some balls um, but to be honest the whole circuit's a bit like that there's there's a lot of overtaking opportunities which is good for a street circuit every corner is basically a challenge which is fun for us. I have been playing F1 games for well, all my childhood really. I've got a younger brother that's racing as well and he's really competitive. But maybe this little bit of practice here is going to give me the edge. I'll take him on at Baku and I can beat him.